So Styx, 3DG. So Styx is the name of the author of the program. It's called DirectX 3DG in the Unity Store. Um, we'll get into all those details, but 3DG is uh, unique in that it's not vegetation as far as when we plant vegetation like trees and you know, grasses. And when I say grasses, I mean like tall weeds and stuff that we plant via VS Pro or the Unity tools. 3DG is actually planted right around our meshes and it has no colliders on it um, and it's somewhat unique but it gives a really good look to the course from a golfer's perspective so far away uh, you don't see the 3dg but when the ball is on the ground and you're about to hit that's when you do see the 3dg so some more information on sticks 3d grass it is an optional add-on um, it costs uh, at the time of this video it costs 30 bucks which is to me a very reasonable cost for an asset from unity um, it is optional in that you do not need to add 3dg for your course to function you need to add uh, 3dg for it to look good okay um, more than likely if you're trying to get your course published to uh, sgt for others to play through gs pro you are not going to get it published without 3dg there was one course that was actually published for somewhat recently without 3dg but he spent a lot of time on the textures and materials to make it look pretty darn good um, it's relatively easy installation is easy um, with the v4 tools there are some uh, uh, grass materials that are included by default that match really well to the default colors of the themes that are provided uh, that we talked about in the unity section so it's it's relatively easy um, it is performance impacting though so you got to be a little bit careful um, one is if you're putting it on extremely large meshes now with the v4 tools that shouldn't be a problem it used to be in the v V3 tools that large meshes um, came into Unity as large meshes. But now with the new V4 tools and what we do with the Clender, uh, large meshes are actually broken up for you automatically. So that's impact on large meshes isn't as big as it used to be. Um, something you probably don't even have to concern you with in the V4 tools. Um, but you do have to be careful about the density. <clears throat> By density, I mean is how thick the grass goes. Um, every grass has triangles associated with it, and those have to get rendered. They get added to your scene. Uh, they increase your try count. Um, and if you make the grass really dense and really thick, you can uh, bring your course to a crawl. So I'd recommend when you do play with the density, keep the changes very light and pay attention to your performance. Um, and the last thing here, colors with 3DG can be tricky. So you, if you start to go beyond the default colors and you start to change your meshes, um, the default mesh colors, you add a satellite shader in there. And if you add 3DG and you start changing those colors, you've got this situation where you've got your meshes, your ground color, your 3DG color, and a satellite overlay um, as part of that. All those things have to basically you know work well together or your 3d grass and overall your course is going to look like caca right not good um so this is just the quick introduction to sticks 3g um on to the next video